Hey guys, so today I'm going to ch change up my nozzle. Uh, I've known for probably the last two or three prints I've had a little blockage in it. Nothing super major, but enough where it was causing some problems with the print quality. Uh, so what I did is I picked up one of these, let's say, uh, Micro Swiss. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in on it. There you go. It's a Micro Swiss. It's a, for the MK8. It's a point form uh, nozzle. Uh, it's a hardened nozzle, so it's... Uh, going to not only resist the wear when it comes to the wood fill PLA, which wood fill, uh, carbon fiber, all those type will, will take and eat away at your nozzle eventually. Um, but what's nice about this particular one is with it being hardened, it's going to resist all that. Uh, it also gives it a higher lubricity, I believe they call it. It makes it where everything just slides through it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get that changed out. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going about doing that. Um, I have the printer preheated to 180 at the moment. Uh, that's the standard uh, preset temperature for, for PLA for the preheat on this model. And that'll be plenty hot, hot enough to take care of what I need to do. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to extrude a little bit of plastic so I can pull it out of the nozzle throat. And I'm going to pull the filament out. And with that out of the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the nozzle. So what you need, I believe it's going to be a 7 millimeter. Let me make absolutely sure here before I go any further. Yes. A 7 millimeter socket. A uh, socket wrench works the best. And then I'm hoping, actually I may not have to. I got a little uh, adjustable end wrench here. I want to try grabbing hold of the, the heat block to keep it from twisting around as I remove it. Let's see if I can get it off though. Actually, the way it's located up in there, I may not have to worry about it. Let's see. Ah, I get hold of it. Perfect. Just want to make sure whenever you do this, you don't grab hold of where the thermistor is. You don't want to damage that thermistor. There we go. Now, no matter how much you're tempted to, do not grab the nozzle <laughs> because it is hot. I'm going to take and remove this very quickly by doing this way. Heat will transfer to the to the socket fairly quickly. Okay, so that one is out. So now we're going to take our micro Swiss. I'm going to place it into the socket. Run it up as high as I can by finger tight. Reverse the direction of the ratchet. You don't want to over tighten. You just want to go until it's nice and firm and then let go of it. If you tighten it too hard, you will snap the nozzle throat. And that's it. Nozzle's changed out. I can put the PLA back through it and I'll be ready to print. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and do that now and see how, how it comes out. There we go. Now see how this comes out? As long as it comes out at a fairly straight line, you know there's no blockage in it. If it comes out at a pretty steep angle like if it was doing that while I was extruding it or if it started doing that real fine curling then you know you got a blockage okay so with that done now what I need to do is I need to relevel the bed uh, to make up for the difference in case this nozzle is slightly longer or slightly shorter so I'll take do that uh, next okay so what I'm doing is I'm going to auto home the bed and once it's auto homed then I'll go through the steps on how to level the print bed Okay, so with it in the home position, and while it was homing, I had it where I could do an emergency stop on it at any time in case it looked like the bed was getting pressed up into the nozzle too hard. But as it sat, it just sat just perfectly on it. Now, since this is build tack, I want to make sure they go two sheets of paper or just a very thick paper. In this case, I'm going to use the Hatchbox booklet that came on my last roll of filament. 
the uh, front and the back of it is about double the thickness of any other page that's in the book. So I'm going to use that to do the do the do the bed leveling for the build tack. If this was glass bed, then I would want to definitely take and go with one sheet of paper so it'd have that first layer smished in really good onto the glass. So with it in this position, I'm going to go ahead and level the bed. Now here's how I go about doing it. You take your paper, slide it in. The way I personally do is I take it to where the rear one is, and there's this out this uh, wing nut that's underneath. I'm going to turn it clockwise just until I can start sliding that paper. I don't want it really loose, but I want it where it's got a little bit of a just a little bit of grab to it. Like that. That's going to be about right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here just over this other wing net. Now you can tell I'm, I'm moving the extruder when I move the page. That's too tight. So I got to tighten the bed and by tightening the wing nut, it allows the bed to go down against the spring. It compresses that spring to the point where it'll let your paper slide. I'm going to bring it over here to this wing nut. Once again, it's too tight, so I'm going to loosen up a little bit. And then I'm going to just kind of retighten it just a hair, just until I start feeling it grab. And then I'm going to go back over. I'm going to double check them and just kind of lightly adjust all of them one last time and then as I bring it over the rest of the print bed it should be pretty close and that feels pretty good that's gonna work just fine so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and rehome it one more time go to prepare I'm going to do auto home let it auto home one more time I'm going to recheck it and once again Disable the steppers. Just going to give that a little bit more of a grab to it. Just loosen it just a hair. See right there, tighten up a little bit too much. So I'm going to loosen it. That feels pretty good. Okay, and that's how I change out the nozzle, and that's how I level the bed. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah. I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.